Okay, so first I prime my lids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And the first color we're going to use is a bright yellow. I'm going to use MAC Chrome Yellow, which is a matte. So obviously it's that one. Um, and then I'm going to take, where is it, um, a small eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to pick this up. Okay, so you just want to pick up as much of this as you can. And then we're going to apply it over the entire lid and up to the brow bone as well. This is crazy bright. I love it. <laughs> So there are quite a few people who have bumblebee uh, makeup looks, so I will try to do mine a little bit different. We'll see what happens. I mean, my idea, before I looked up that on YouTube, um, I kind of already had an idea, and then a lot of people kind of have something similar to it, so I am going to try to change it up a little bit. So you just want to, don't want to go too far out here, just up to the eyebrow and the eyebrow so you just kind of have that nice shape. Okay, then the other side. So you have the awesome bright on the eyes. Okay, then I'm going to take a small fluffy eyeshadow brush and then get some more of the yellow. Okay, and as usual you're just going to continue this underneath the eye pretty thickly. Because we are going to do, I'm planning on doing a line of black under as well so you want to have a thick enough line of the yellow that the black or that you'll still be able to see it once you have the black. So just go in here so it's kind of connects it all together. Okay so once you've got all the yellow on we're going to go for a black eyeshadow and um, let me see I'm actually I was thinking of doing matte at first but I'm actually kind of liking the idea of something pretty sparkly so I'm going to use Milani Storm. Um, basically any, I'm not sure which MAC one is sparkly, but any uh, eyeshadow that's black and sparkly is perfect for this. So I'm going to use my tapered blending brush that's pretty soft. It's not as, as stiff as the MAC uh, 218. So we'll get some of this. Alright, and then the fun part. Obviously we're going to put this in our crease so that we have that, you know, the bumblebee stripe type thing. Um, there actually is more black usually on a bumblebee than there is yellow, but oh well. So I guess it's fine if we get a lot of this. So basically just take it right in the crease and start blending it out. So you want to blend it all the way in here and then out. And we actually are just going to go for kind of a line like this. We, we do want to take it out to the end of the yellow, but we're not going to take it on the outer, uh, like, V. So, okay. So just blend. So I think I'm actually going to take it in here. Just to the inner corner. And blend that out. Okay, kind of interesting, I guess. So that's what it'll look like. Um, let me see here. So now what I'm going to do, okay, so the small the eyeshadow brush we used for the yellow, I'm just going to get some more of the uh, sparkly black. And we're going to put this right on top. Uh oh, okay. Uh, just take it right on top of this middle part here. You just want to go with small padding motions. So this is going to darken it up and then add some more sparkle. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do the other side. Scary! Okay, so now what I'm going to do is pick up um, a shimmery yellow. This is MAC Golden, uh, Golden Lemon Pigment. Yeah. So I'm just going to pick up some of that. And then you want to put it right on the lid. Just kind of start in the middle and then blend it out. Uh, next, I'm going to use a highlight color. I'll use my MAC Rose Blanc for that, so it's a nice shimmery yellow. Sorry, everybody's yelling. Yelling. Okay, so under the brow bone. Actually, I'm going to take it all the way in, just so it's not quite so bright. But we still have that... Um, really pigmented yellow underneath. So you want to be careful not to blend this really into the black because we want to keep that line there. We don't want it to be super blended. Okay, so now I'm going to take a matte black shadow. I'm going to use my, uh, MAC ty Typographic. Sorry, I'm having a hard time enunciating. Um, you want to take that on a thin eyeliner brush, flat one. And then we're going to put this, um, I guess we'll start on the top. Just on the top as eyeliner first. Alright, with the same uh, brush, get some more of the black and then do this as liner underneath. And we just want to connect everything over here uh, to the black. So get this really uh, close to the lash line so you still have that yellow. Alright, so that's that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Um, you can, if you want to make this more black, and make your eyebrows black. Um, that's optional. Um, and then I'm just going to add mascara, and you can put false lashes too. Um, you probably could find some really cool ones that would look good with it. So then I'll come back and show you the real quick cheeks and lips. Okay, so if you're just going to do mascara, you want to put a lot on and especially make sure the bottom lashes are just like covered in mascara. It'll make it kind of look buggish. <laughs> kind of like your lashes or the antennas or something like that. <laughs> Alright, so for cheeks, I'm going to use just a real neutral pink or um, peach blush. This is Everyday Mineral Siesta. So you just want to get this on the apples of your cheeks. And now for lips, I'm going to use first a real neutral uh, lip liner. I'm using MAC uh, Pencil in Subculture. And then on top of that, I'm going to put just a real beige-ish, I don't know what you'd call this, beige peach lip gloss thing? Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so here's my finished um, absolutely crazy bumblebee look uh, for a costume. Costume. Costume only, please. I don't ever want to see anybody wearing this outside unless they're dressed up as a bumblebee. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, this is what I came up with for this look. Um, I think I have like two more Halloween ones and they're kind of funky. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do them or not, so this may be my last one for this year. Um, and maybe not, so just keep watching for more videos, and thanks you guys so much for subscribing. I keep getting, like, I don't know, I think yesterday I got, like, seven subscribers, and it's, like, two, almost 2.30 now, and I've gotten already, like, five the last time I checked. So, I'm just, like, really surprised. I'm so close to get having 700, and it's just, it's really awesome. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. So, uh, keep watching for more videos, and I will see you all later. Bye.